Thank you very much. Thank you. To start out, I would like to show you some magic using just a piece of rope. Now, like most pieces of rope, this one has two ends and one middle. Now, suppose for a moment I had two pieces of rope. How many ends would I have? Four. Very good. And if I had three <laughs> ropes, how many ends would I have? Six. Excellent. Now, suppose for a moment I had a rope and a half. How many ends would I have? Three. three. Exactly. I would have... <laughs> I would have three ends, just like this. There's one, two, three ends. Now, as long as we're defying the laws of nature to have a three-ended rope, we might as well not stop there. We can have a four-ended rope. <laughs> Something is obviously not quite right here, because if we do have a four-ended rope, there really should be two ends here and two ends down there. We can fix that by just sliding these two ends right down where they belong. It's like that, leaving us with two ends here, two ends here. Something's still not quite right, though, because if there are two ends here, there really should be two ropes. <laughs> and in fact, there are two ropes. I'm going to tie each one into a knot. Here's number one. And rope number two. Now, a funny thing happens if you use your imagination just a little bit. These two loops seem to almost melt together into one giant loop of rope. <laughs> Doing that is actually pretty simple. To do that, all you have to do is learn to make a knot disappear. So here we have a knot, and now... It is not. <laughs> Once you learn to make knots disappear, it's a pretty simple matter to figure out how to make one reappear. <laughs> Bring us back to our one big loop of rope. You seem to be having a little bit of difficulty following this. I can try to make it a little bit easier for you. Instead of doing magic with the whole rope, I'll do magic with just the ends. In fact, we'll start with just this end right here. One end travels to the <laughs> Okay, you and you liked it. The rest, not so much. That's okay. I'll give you a second chance. Here's end number two. Bring us back to our two ends and one middle. I can make it a little bit easier for you. I found the ends are a little bit easier to keep track of if I tie them together. See, with the ends tied together, they can still travel, but they have to travel together and a little bit more slowly. In fact, I don't have to use the ends at all. I also can do magic using just the middle of the rope. So we'll tuck the ends away right here. Now, with the ends safely tucked away, it's obviously impossible for me to take this rope and tie it in a knot. <laughs> And once I have a knot, as long as the ends are over here, it's equally impossible for me to take this knot and untie it. <laughs> now, a funny thing happens when the knot disappears. Actually, the ends of the rope disappear with it, <laughs> leaving us with one endless piece of rope. <laughs> so where are the ends? Well, they're obviously right here in my pocket. <laughs> so here I have a rope without ends and ends without a rope. This is not a natural condition for a rope to be in. But I found if you just lay the ends over the rope, things look pretty much normal. And with a little imagination, things actually become completely normal. <laughs> as long as I'm showing you rope magic, I'm actually required by Magician's Code to show you the famous cut and restored rope trick. Sure, you've seen that one before. That's the one where the magician takes the rope, cuts it right in half, and then tries to put the rope back together. Now, magicians try to make it look very difficult to put a rope back together, but it's actually pretty simple. I found if you just tug on one of the ropes, it'll get longer, <laughs> and the other rope gets shorter. 
And you can see at this point we're almost restored because we have one long rope and one <laughs> short rope. All that remains is to push the short rope back into the long one. And I'll do that for you very slowly. <laughs> Until we're left with nothing but just a knot. All that remains is to untie the knot and we're back to our one big piece of rope. 